One star, two star, three star, four star, five star general, five star general. Go hard, grind hard, born hard, bread hard. Five star general, five star general. People are wondering about the referee's moves here, whether this situation could have been handled differently. ABC Zachary Keith is here with more. Zachary, good morning. Good morning to you, Dan. On one side, you have a white ref with a documented history of using a racist slur. And on the other side, a 17-year-old African-American team who has competed in more than 20 matches this year alone with no issues, but this time... He was given an ultimatum. Cut the hair or take the loss. It's the referee who made a teen wrestler cut his dreadlocks moments before a match. The video is seen across the nation showing Andrew Johnson forced to have his hair cut off or forfeit the match. He took the haircut and won, but it sparked outrage. This clip here is from last night's emergency board of education meeting. Watch this. I couldn't believe that this pig would humiliate that kid on the mat, but I know that there were rules and regulations that he had to follow. Whether he followed them correctly or not, I don't really care. He does not belong in that wrestling association at the scholastic level. The school district is banning the ref from working any of its matches. The years old, what was happening in Solo, five star general, and today we're talking about a dickhead named Alan Maloney. He's the ref that made that young boy cut his dreads because he wanted him in a wrestling, he wanted to wrestle. So the young boy cut him, and he still won. And this dude's an asshole for making him do it in front of everybody. Making him do it, period. Because I had a my my wrestling partner in high school had dreads, and yeah, they stunk, and we used to laugh about it and grind them up and shit. But it wasn't. But this guy's had problems in the past. Alan Maloney received a one-year suspension in 2016 for calling a fellow ref a racial slur. But it was overturned on appeal when the NJWOA, which I assume is the New Jersey Wrestling Officials Association, ruled it had no jurisdiction over what happened because it didn't occur at an athletic event. So, and then Maloney said he didn't remember calling his co-worker a racial slur, but he believed him and he apologized. So obviously, you know, he does it so much that he just is like, yeah, I probably did it, sorry. <laughs> But goddamn, like it's 2019 now and motherfuckers are still racist. Like if you're still racist in 2019, kill yourself. Um, but let me know what you think. Do you think that they should have made him cut his dress? Do you think that, oh, and then he got suspended, obviously. So he's done or not suspended. He got banned. So let me know what you think. And remember to uh, check out our website, fivestargenerals.myshopify.com. And subscribe to the channel. Peace and blessings. War ain't about who's right. Sometimes it's about who's left.